Hi, Annika. Hi there, Mum. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Hey, it's almost Christmas, Annie Karen. I know, it's very exciting, oh, I isn't can't it? Wait, I can't 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 wait. You know what's happening at Christmas? <gasps> what? <laughs> What's so happening, excited. Mullet? What's oh, happening? My cousin is having a Christmas party and it's going to be at his house and there's a swimming pool. Oh, that sounds so exciting. Oh, Are you looking forward to that, Mullet? I'm looking forward to it so much. But, Lady Karen? Yes? There's a swimming pool. It's outside. Oh, I hope it's a nice day. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, yeah. I hope so, too. Oh, and, and I hope he makes... He has a barbecue and I hope there's sausages. Oh, yeah, that was. I love sausages. I'm sure you're hoping for sausages, Mullet. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and Christmas presents, Aunty Karen. Yeah, do you think there'll be presents yeah, there Christmas at the party? Oh. oh, I hope I get what I've always wanted. Hmm, what's that, Mullet? What are you hoping to get in your present? Hair product. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot to look as good as me. Hmm, well, those are really big hopes, Mullet. Yeah, but I can't. What if, what if I don't get any of the things I hope for? Like, what if it rains and yeah, it's cold? Yeah. Or what if they don't serve sausages? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what if I don't get what I really want for Christmas and I just get ugly sweaters? Well, unfortunately, those hopes aren't very certain, are they? No. Because. You know, things could happen and you could miss out. You could get a present you don't like. It could rain. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. But do you know, Mullet, at Christmas, there's a different sort of hope that we have that is very certain. Really? Yeah, we can be really sure of it. Why is that? Do you want to hear about it? It's because it's a hope that God gives us. And God always keeps his promises, doesn't he? Oh, okay. Well, let's have a look at the story. Okay, let's read in the Bible. Long, long ago, God made a promise to his people through the prophet Isaiah. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The people really needed this hope. Things were hard for them and it was like they were walking in darkness. God promised this child would bring light into their darkness and be a special rescuing king. Hundreds and hundreds of years passed. Could you keep waiting that long for something? But God's people kept hoping. It wasn't just a maybe hope. When God makes a promise, he always keeps it. This was a definite hope. And at the very first Christmas, this hope came true. Angels announced his arrival. The special rescuing king who was promised so long ago. A young virgin called Mary gave birth to a son in Bethlehem. He was wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Angels appeared to nearby shepherds with the amazing news. Good news and joy for all the people. Jesus is the promised saving king. One person who had waited and hoped for this promised one was a man named Simeon. When Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple, Simeon took the baby in his arms and praised God that after all, all these years, God had faithfully kept his promise. The hope had arrived. Simeon marveled that his eyes had seen God's salvation, the promised light in the darkness. Jesus, the light of the world, had arrived. God's promised hope was Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus! Are you going? I can see why Christmas hope is different. Yeah, it's for sure hope, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus is the hope of the world because when he died and when he rose again, we can have the hope of relationship with God if we trust in Jesus. But it's not something that we wish could happen. It's something that is true because it's hope that's based on God's Promises and we know it's going to happen. That's right. 
and we can look forward with certainty to the time we'll be with God forever because we put our trust in Jesus. Oh, I like the Christmas hope much better than my hopes. It's amazing hope to have, isn't it? And that's why we celebrate Christmas. Oh, it's the best. Well, thanks, Auntie Karen. I feel so much better now. I still hope I get hair product, though. Okay, well, I hope you do too. (laughs) Okay, bye, kids. Bye, Nikki. Bye, Mullet. Bye, kids.